Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome uh, to our Bible study on this Tuesday morning. And so glad that you're you're joining us, and hope that you have a, a copy of God's Word with you. We're going to invite you to uh, take your Bible and to turn uh, with me to Matthew chapter 16. And Matthew chapter 16, and we're going to begin our reading in verse 13 of this chapter. So join me as we read from God's word. Matthew 16, 13. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the son of man is? And they replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you, he asked, who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my, by my fathers in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and that on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And then he ordered his disciples not to tell anyone that he was Messiah. Now this is a, a, a wonderful passage of scripture uh, that comes as Jesus has just uh, fed the, the 5,000. And he is pulling his disciples away. He's gone about as far away from Jerusalem as he can and still be in Galilee. And he really, the passage just before, he's teaching them about the danger of the, the, the leaven or the teachings of the Pharisees. And, and here he's, he moves, he transitions the conversation to talking about who he is. So he begins by asking them, who do people say that I am? And you'll notice that um, what people are saying are, are really quite nice things, respectful things, that he's a, a great teacher, that, um, that he's a, a prophet, uh, he's like John the Baptist. And to, to many who would look on Jesus, there were similarities between Jesus and John. Of course, they were, they were cousins to begin with, but, um, you know, they both kind of appear on the scene with with no advertisement or fanfare they're both preaching repentance of sin for salvation they both practice baptism so there were similarities that people would have recognized right away uh, some say he was elijah you know both were uh, very faithful and bold in preaching uh, both suffered rejection rejection from the religious leaders uh, so there, there were similarities between um, Elijah who gave food to the hungry and raised the dead Jeremiah and the other prophets um, so uh, they said nice things about Jesus but they did not say the right things about Jesus and it's much like the way it is today I mean in our pluralistic society uh, many people will say nice things about Jesus. You know, talk about him being a great teacher, and uh, he had a great moral lesson for for mankind. Uh, he was a spiritual leader. But if you say that Jesus is God, if you say that Jesus is who he said he was, uh, there you'll be met with <laughs> lots of disapproval, right? Um, people don't like that and uh, but yet this is the foundation of the Christian life it is the confession of who Jesus is and so Peter asked the disciples who do you say that I am this is uh, where the rubber meets the road uh, in your life and in uh, in this world what what people need to hear and so Peter answers, you are the Messiah, 
the son of the living God. And so you hear, you hear Jesus' joy in his response. Blessed are you, uh, Simon, son of Jonah. Flesh and blood didn't reveal this to you, but my father in heaven. Jesus knew that Peter didn't come up with this conclusion on his own. But there was a revelation from God, God's spirit with him. God gave him faith to make this confession. And it's the same for you and I. When we come to the awareness of who Christ is, God's the one who gives us the faith we need to confess that Jesus is Messiah. To confess that he is our Lord. Jesus' ministry had been to bring these uh, these disciples to that conclusion to show them the way to bring them to confession for if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved for with your heart you believe and are justified it's with your mouth that you confess and are saved and each of us as we, the Holy Spirit of God gives us the revelation we need to know that Christ is the Son of God. Each of us are, are to confess that Jesus is Messiah, that he is Lord. And then we're not done confessing. Once we confess that unto salvation, that our life then becomes confession of who Christ is. You know, there's a lot of controversy that swirled up around this passage, uh, most of it stemming from you know, the, the dogmas of the Catholic Church that would say that what this was, what Jesus was saying was that Peter would be the foundation of the church, that the church would be built on him. And uh, there's a, a lot of problems with that. Uh, first of all, that that's really not what the text says. Um, Peter is not the rock. Um, and if you just um, you simply look at the, the words that are used here, there's actually two words used here, Petros and Petra, uh, that are used in, in, the, in the sentence. The first, Petra, speaking of the, the name uh, Peter, his name, that word means stone, rock, a small rock. Uh, the second, Petra, means foundation, bedrock, massive stone. Jesus was saying, Peter, you are a, you are a stone. And you're a part of what I'm building, this bedrock of the church. And this is the church. What? It's the confession that Peter made, that Jesus is Messiah, the son of the living God. That confession is the foundation of the church. And it's through that confession that you become a part. You're built into the church, which gives praise and honor and glory to the Lord Jesus Christ that lifts him up. The second part of Jesus' statement here um, is of great importance, too. And it's speaking to the church that I will give you the keys of the kingdom um, of heaven and I tell you the gates of Hades will not overcome it um, that's that's important for you and I to understand for Christ on the cross um, crushed the head of Satan he broke through the gates of hell so that those of us who are in Christ could storm those gates and deliver the captives that we could set at free. We could proclaim the year of liberty. Um, we have this, this wonderful gift. That is the gospel. The good news that the people of, of this world, the neighbors that live near you, the coworkers that work with you, the family members around you that need to hear because there is deliverance from death and hell. And that deliverance is Jesus. The confession 
of Jesus as Lord, as as Savior, as King. And all you need, we need to share that today. We are given the opportunity in, in the hours of this day that God gives us breath and God gives us life to confess who he is, that others might hear. Not that we would just confess him in, in the quietness of our own room and confess him between in our conversation between us and him, but that we confess him in our conversation with others so that others would hear. Now you may ask him, um, why is it then that Jesus ordered his disciples not to tell anyone he was Messiah? And the answer to that is because he has not gone to the cross yet. He was headed there. He knew the cross was before him, but he was not there yet. He had much things to teach them yet. And uh, it would be after his death, burial, and resurrection that their confession would give birth to the church. Um, we live in that day and we look forward to his return. But until his return, our job is to confess him as Lord. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. And as this morning, we're reminded uh, of its teachings. We're reminded of who you've called us to be as your ambassadors, as your disciples, to confess you as Lord. And Father, we're thankful that you've given us faith and that we, we know your lordship in our life but help us father to 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 share that truth with others uh, how we have been set free by christ lord give us grace and opportunity in this day we pray amen may god richly bless you brothers and sisters in this day as we seek to serve our lord uh, together god bless you have a great day